Ladies and gentlemen, have you ever seen a sheep standing on top of a cow? Probably not, because now you can say you have. into a sheep and I was standing on top of Bessie. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is because today we are going to be morphing into some of the craziest Minecraft mobs that you have ever seen. So let's go check out what Bessie's book says. Today, it is uh, about mutants. I know you love morphing into crazy Minecraft bosses. So I decided to bring back the mutant creatures so you can turn into them. But first, you must defeat the mutants, as usual, of course. Good luck, love, Morphin Bessie. So yes, ladies and gentlemen, today we're gonna be morphing into the mutant creatures, and then we should be able to somehow get their abilities, their armor, and then test out, you know, how they uh, fight against some other Minecraft mobs. So if you guys do enjoy today's video, don't forget to leave a like. Let's aim for over 5,000, that would be amazing. And also guys, comment down below if you want to see me morph into the titans or at least try my best to do so leave a like if you want to see that as well but ladies and gentlemen in this chest we have a ton of mutant minecraft creatures now if you've never seen these before uh you're probably living under a rock but that's okay today i'm going to be showing you guys how you can actually get these in your world now the first one we have right here is actually a spider pig which is kind of like a half mutant it's a combination between a spider a pig and a, a bunch of chemical x it really doesn't seem to like that pig dude oh my gosh it just jumped into the water okay before anything gets too crazy here let's just uh, morph back to normal backboard jack so i have my hearts and everything and uh, let's go grab some armor and a sword before this thing starts chasing me bessie where'd you place my stuff okay let's see all right there we go we have some diamond stuff in here do you have a diamond sword? All right, let's plop that on. And we should be able to take down these mutants. Wait, 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 hold on. I thought I only spawned in one spider pig. Uh, I guess I'll just, I'll have to take down, uh, just, oh, God, they're both attacking me. I thought just one would attack. Okay, all right, hold on. Hold on, stop, please, please. I have some pretty good armor, but these things are extremely fast. Okay, stop, please, Mr. Spider Pigs. These are the easiest mutants, too. Okay, wait, I got one. Hold on, I'm gonna morph into it, and boom. Okay, hold on, hold on, I'm, I'm on your team now. One team. Oh gosh, I'm, I'm stuck in spider webs. Oh, okay. This, uh, yeah, I thought this would work a lot better. Hold on, Mr. Spider Pig. Yeah, you kind of wrecked me. But yeah, guys, I have turned into the Spider Pig. This is honestly super weird. All the animations are exactly the same. Ronnie's still my friend. Look at that. This is so weird, dude. Oh, it makes me feel weird because I don't like the spider legs. I'm not a big fan of spiders. But let's see. Do I have any cool abilities? I don't think they really have any other than shooting down spider webs. Uh, but let's see, this guy doesn't seem to have any special abilities, but I am curious if the other spider pig will attack me. So let's go over, let's go find him. Hey dude, how's it going? It's just me, I'm, I'm a fellow spider pig. Now it seems like my health is exactly the same, but there can only be one spider pig pro jack. So get the heck out of here, boo! All right, there we go. Just took down another one and absorbed him. But guys, this is just the most basic mutant that you can transform into. Now it's gonna get a little bit more difficult because we have to take down the other five extremely difficult mutant creatures. Before I do get into that real quick, ladies and gentlemen, I gotta plug the merch. A lot of you guys have been asking for it, so definitely go check it out. It is backbrojack.co. It'll be linked down in the description. Go check it out. Even if you don't buy anything, it would mean a lot if you go check out the awesome designs that we've been working on. But yeah, now that we have that out of the way, let's go see. Next up, we have a mutant snow golem who is extremely buff compared to a normal snow golem. All right, hey, hey buddy, How, how's it going? Normally he's a pretty nice guy, but uh, I'm really sorry, dude. I'm a spider pig, I gotta take him down. All right, oh gosh, okay. He doesn't even seem that angry with me. Oh, guys, now I feel bad. Eh, whatever, I'm kind of over it. Let's just attack him, dude. It's so crazy in third person. I can just jump all over him. But there we go. Looks like he drops, okay, that has a lot of snowballs there. And he also drops his jack-o'-lantern head. I guess we could just plop that on. Or maybe we can't. I just grabbed a regular pumpkin. So there we go. Now we can actually see what the snow golem looks like. All right, now we have to actually morph into them. Okay, we have two different spider pigs. And we also have a mutant snow golem, which it doesn't look like he takes fall damage. Oh, this guy is massive. His arms move back and forth. His legs move. Like the animations on these guys are absolutely insane. But ladies and gentlemen, let's test out uh, what it looks like in first person. So this is what a, a mutant snow golem sees. Uh, 
And uh, he can basically just kind of like throw snowballs. So yeah, take that, Rodney. Wait a second, buddy. Do you have my 10 cookies from yesterday? Because I'm kind of getting hungry. Rodney ate my cookies. Dude, I only have two left. I'm not friends with you today, Rodney. That's not cool, man. All right, let's just uh, stop. Get away from me. I don't want to open your GY. I just want to throw snowballs at your face, dude. I'm angry. But yeah, other than being, you know, a giant massive snow golem uh, that uh, really does not have some good vision, uh, that's really all the snow golem could do. We could throw snowballs, and that's pretty much it. So, ladies and gentlemen, we have to keep moving down. Next up, I want to take down the mutant zombie. Because I know he has some pretty crazy powers and also an awesome hammer. So let's spawn him in over here in 3, 2, 1. Mute Zabby! Hey, oh, gosh. He's a lot bigger than the Mute Snow Golem. Oh, my goodness. Bro, this isn't cool. Hold on, I'm going to throw snowballs at his face. Come on, stop. Get away from me, dude. Oh, he does not like that, bro. He really does not like that. Sadly, it's doing no attack damage, dude. This giant trash can is somebody getting sobbed as well. Okay, hold on. Uh, let, let me use my sword. Okay, <laughs> Dude, this is insane. Now the only problem is I have to figure out how to burn the zombie or else he's gonna come back to life. Oh gosh, okay, hold on, hold on, please. Please, Mr. Mewin Zombie, stop throwing me up in the air. Stop doing WWE moves on me. I'm gonna call a quick time out here. Hold on, I just gotta eat some, some good pork chops. Betsy, please protect me, all right? I'm gonna get wrecked. I am just, you know, a normal Minecraft sheep. You see nothing. Oh, gosh, guys, I think he saw me. How about now? I'm just, you know, a, a regular Minecraft spider pig, you know, just be, being a spider and, and doing pig things, you know, just being, just being myself. Oh, my gosh, dude, my disguise aren't working. All right, might as well. Just keep taking him down. Spider pig seems a little bit quicker than the Muse Snow Golem. Oh my gosh, dude, that WWE move is just insane. I really need to get inside, dude. I gotta get to my crafting bench and make a flint and steel so I can burn the mutant zombie. Uh, hold on, hold on. I gotta, I gotta morph into something a tad bit smaller. Let's just uh, go back into Beck Bro sheep form. All right, there we go. Should be able to fit through. Dude, the sheep can't even fit through a door. Fine, I guess I'll just become normal plain old Beck Bro Jack with a pumpkin on his head. All right, let's take that off and let's craft ourselves a nice little old flint and steel. So I can take this giant beast down when I actually, you know, I'm able to knock him out. I'm really sorry I gotta take him down and absorb your soul so I can morph into him. Wait, wait a second, I didn't even have to burn him. Now it looks like I picked up his Hulk hammer, which can be my brand new weapon. And let's see. So we have immune zombie who apparently uh, doesn't get affected by other mobs and also takes no fall damage whatsoever. All right, there we go. We're morphing. And, oh my gosh, dude, you can actually play as a mutant zombie. I wasn't 100% sure if this is going to work, but this is absolutely insane. I'm kind of curious about the whole uh, not taking fall damage thing. Let's just teleport 100 blocks up in the sky. Let's see. Yo, no fall damage. Now, I also have this awesome whole camera where I have the same abilities as the mutant zombie. I don't know if I can do the WWE awesome tack, but uh, I guess we'll find out. So next up, we have the mutant skeleton. What's up, dude? Okay, he still seems kind of big. Hold on, hold on. Stop it with your volleys. Let's see. Okay, looks like my damage might be multiplied. Let's try. Okay, my ground pound. Bro, he's literally wrecking me. No, 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 no. Stop it. Get out of here, man. He's doing so much attack damage to me. Oh, gosh. Okay, this isn't good. I should probably go get my sword back. Hold on, mutant skeleton. I'm just going to head inside. Oh, gosh. I am way too big to go inside. All right, I'm just going to actually go out back and, uh, oh, gosh. Not cool, bro. Not cool. How do I have to do with that jump thing? Okay, I can't do the jump. That's really annoying. I have to switch out back to the diamond sword because just does so much more attack damage in the whole camera. Bro, please stop doing this. I could barely even see over my own head. All right, there we go. I think I'm wrecking the poop out of him. Come on, man. He has 35 health. I just want to get his armor. I know he explodes on his death. Let's see. Yes. Okay. Awesome. I was able to take him out. Now, let's see if I can morph into the huge Mewen skeleton. I think it's working. Yes, it actually worked. Now, we just have to collect all his different, you know, bone particles. And then I should be able to actually craft the mutant skeleton armor. 12 seconds later. So I managed to get myself the entire mutant skeleton suit of armor. So now I have speed 2 and also some awesome jump boost. The only weird thing is I have a, like, crossbow, bow and arrow in my right hand, but, uh, in my inventory, I don't even have any bow and arrows or crossbows or anything like that. But I guess it's okay. We can work with the diamond sword. Let's go see. Next up, we have the mutant creeper with a mutant enderman. Uh, let's try out the mutant creeper. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We have the extra jump boost. We do indeed have the whole camera. Let's take this guy down. This is the guy I'm most excited to be. It's because he's just so much attack damage, dude. How is he doing that? All right, let's set this place on fire a little bit. There we go. All right, perfect. Let's get a whole camera. Boom. That's just so much sack damage. Let's try this again. Oh, yeah. I'm just going to spam the poop out of this. There we go. 
And oh, no, 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 you're not allowed to heal. Stop, stop it. No, 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 that is cheating. I repeat, that is cheating, Mr. Mutant Creeper. No, don't explode. All right, we're doing all right. We're doing okay. Actually, we're not. We're getting wrecked. Yep, yep, yep. Just gonna set the entire place on fire. Rodney, what the heck are you doing, man? You can't be stepping in fire. Oh, gosh. I think he's actually healing. Hold on. No, 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 that is cheating. Two giant trash can. Come on. No, bro. I am so close. Oh, I'm dead. I, I, yeah, I just got wrecked. I really hope I get my healing powers from the Mune Creeper because it literally just isn't fair. Come on. 25 health left. There we go. Couple more hits. One more whole hammer. I missed my whole hammer, dude. One more hit. One more. Yes. We were able to absorb Mune Creeper. Wait, what? What is that sound? What? Okay. I think we're all right, guys. So let's see if it worked. We can now transform into the mutant creeper, dude. All four of his legs move. All oh, is amazing. And when I attack, I just like peck my head. I'm not sure if I can do any exploding powers. I could definitely peck my victims to death. But other than that, I don't think I have any cool powers, sadly. But that's okay, because I know for a fact the mutant enderman dropped something where I can basically get all of his powers. So let's get him down here. 200 health. Oh my gosh, dude, Ollie, you just attacked me right off the bat. No, 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 no. I don't like being blinded. I can't even see anything. Okay, he's right there. He does so much attack damage, dude. And I can't see anything. <laughs> that wasn't even fair. This giant nub just blinds me, and then I can't even do anything. All right, we're just gonna spin in circles and peck our head. All right, there he is. Peck the head, peck the head. I think it's working. Uh, guys, I think we're doing amazing. Whoa, okay, we have a lot of endermen around here. Please, dude, just stop blinding me. Yo, dude, this just stop. Please stop cheating. You're actually a hacker. Come on, man. All right, maybe if I set my entire area around me on fire. Yeah, okay, I found him. And it, okay, I, I accidentally set myself on fire. That was definitely not a part of the plan, but it's okay. You know, you kind of just have to work with what you're given. All right, there we go. Come on. No, 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 no. I'm gonna peck my head at your face. And I'm gonna destroy you. Oh, no, no, peck the head this way. Peck, peck your head. Come on, man. Keep pecking the head. Don't stop pecking. Please. Did I, wait, hold on. Did I take him out? I don't think I did, but I'm not entirely sure where he went. Oh, wait a second, I actually took him out. There we go, we can morph into the mutant Enderman. And, oh my gosh, dude. This is amazing, and I am extremely tall. Now from that, I believe I got the Ender Soul Hand. Which is just an amazing attack weapon. As you can see, it does six attack damage. Also, if I right click on blocks, which I literally can't reach. Wait a second. If I shift, right click. Okay, I can teleport now. Okay, that is cool. And I'm supposed to be able to pick up blocks. The only problem is I am extremely tall. Let's see. Yes, okay, I can pick it up. And I believe, yes, I can throw it at mobs. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I believe that is going to wrap it up for today's video. This is how you can basically become every single mutant creature in the mod using the morph mod it was absolutely amazing if you guys did enjoy don't forget to leave a like also if you want to see me try and morph into the titans be sure to comment that down below but ladies and gentlemen i hope you have a safe and fantastic rest of your day my name is beck bro mutant enderman and i will see you guys all back in here tomorrow peace out dudes